Y'all know when we got the Baby Yoda drip that something's about to go down. Yeah. What is up? Mm, my Whisker gang. What is up? Welcome back to another Whisker Chan banger video. Y'all already know what's going on. Whisker Chan in the building. And in today's video, we have tons of information to cover. First, we have more Rosaria information. Second, we have a 1.4 speculation on banners that is going to be updated slightly due to some new information. And then finally, in 1.6, we have some legendary information that may change your mind, that may make you be like, wait, hold up, what's happening? Whisker Chan, what? So in today's video, we're going to cover all this amazing information and whatnot. But before we even get into this, let's go ahead and agree on this. You know you want to subscribe, so go ahead and do it. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down below. As you can see, not a lot of you are subscribed to the channel, so make sure to just smash that button and you'll get all these daily uploads, all these updates, all these bangers, and you know, my handsome self. But anyway, smash that like button and also hit the notification bell to be notified of all my daily uploads. Without further ado, let's get into this banger video. Damn. The first thing I want to talk about is the Rosaria topic and the new information on her and whatnot. First things first, shout out Lumi. I just want to show off Rosaria's idols under the dim moonlight. Looks really beautiful as you can see. She just literally swinging that blade around. She don't look like she's somebody from church, but we gonna take it as it is. It don't look like she got much of a nerf to the top either, but we, we won't talk about that. Anyway, just enjoy this. This is another one of our idol animations as we come closer to getting this character. As we are already in the middle of 1.3. And after 1.3, guys, we are getting 1.4 with all this new information that we're about to discuss in one moment. But mainly, Rosaria coming in 1.4. Even though she's a four-star character, everybody is anticipating her. Everybody can't wait for this character. So her coming out is going to be huge. Having all this new information on her is beautiful, and I just love the character so much. I might main her, and I don't even, you know, I have so many five stars. I have no reason to main a four star, but I'm going to main her, and I'm definitely going to see six her if possible. So anyway, let's go ahead and get on to this other information about Rosaria. Now, this is where it's going to leap into 1.4 new information. The reason I say this is because, so far, Zenit, which is one of our data miners, or one of our leakers, as you call them, Basically, what he's saying right here is basically we have, she's a four-star unit, her vision is cryo, her weapon is going to be pole arm, of course, as you know, and she is a member of the Church of Favonius. And she still, and I mean, this is what I want to note, guys, she still remains to be the only new character releasing in version 1.4. So, so far, we have no data mine leaks or anything of that nature for any new five stars in 1.4. Now, what does this lead us to believe? What does this lead us to believe, like, seriously? That is what we're about to go over right now. So let's go ahead and switch on to that. All right, here we go, guys. As you can see, we have the 1.4 banners. Now, there's a lot to talk about. You're probably saying that's a lot, you tight whisk champ, but there is a lot to talk about. First off, we have the Vinci rerun with a possibility that Rosaria may be the featured four star on his banner. And then we have another possibility, or basically the next thing that can happen, is the standard banner event wish characters such as Deluke or Gene. Now, I'm going to go ahead and state this. Since Deluke and Gene really represent Mondstadt, and they're the only five stars, or well, Klee is too, but what I'm saying is they're the standard event, or the standard banner event wish characters. They're the only ones that represent Mondstadt. So Deluke or Gene, you're probably saying, which one will we get? Well, if we do a little bit of analyzation, we see that most likely we're going to get the loot considering that the Luli Harpastum will have a Klee rerun. And once Luli Harpastum has a Klee rerun, she's already a power unit. And the other banner in that update may be a standard banner event wish character as well. And between Jean and the Luke, they will most likely release Jean since she won't do a back. They won't do a back to back pyro in one update. So what I'm saying is once they release the Luli Harpastum in 1.6, they are not going to release Klee and Deluke. That's two Pyros back to back in one update. They're not going to do that. So what I think they're going to do is they're going to release Jean with Klee, Klee rerun. If they do release a standard banner event wish character. And then they're going to release Deluke with Venti's rerun. Which would be very ideal. So, so far we think that Venti rerun and a possible Deluke banner since we have no info on any new characters. Meaning we may only have two banners in the festival. 
Now, remember, as I said in the last video, the previous video, which I will link at the end of this video, as well as in the white tabs up above, remember we said there's a possibility that we will get three banners. Now, this is kind of dimmed down since we have no new information on a new five star. So what I'm really looking at is a Venti rerun as well as a standard banner event, which characters such as the Luke. But if we get a new character and if they follow the same route they did for the Sea Lantern Festival, Rosaria can be on any banner and let's hope that she's on Vinci's banner though because that's where we're going to benefit most from unless they put a new banner like I said at the end. If they put a new banner out, then if she's on a new banner, that would be very beneficial. But if they don't put a new banner out, I'd rather her be on Vinci's banner than the Luke's banner. I'm sorry guys, but I just feel that way. Uh, as a Deluke person that has a Deluke already and some constellation form as well, I feel like definitely 100% they should put Rosaria on Venti's rerun banner. It would just be way more beneficial as to how many people want Venti in the first place. They'll get Venti and they'll also get a Super Cryo DPS unit that is a 4 star or a Super Cryo support unit that is a 4 star. So yeah, hopefully Rosaria is on Venti's banner and hopefully we do get a new banner in 1.4 because if we don't, it's going to be kind of bad. But at the same time, since we're getting a Venti rerun and most people don't have Venti because nobody really summoned on that banner at all, it'll still be really good because it'll similarly, it'll be similar to having a new banner since nobody has the character in the first place. Even though we all know what he can do and whatnot, it's still going to be good. And that standard banner event wish character being the Luke most likely is also going to be good because most people want the Luke, a lot of people want the Luke, and they don't have him. So having the chance to get him rated up is, you know, a plus. So if you want to go for that, Go ahead, but 100%, I hope we do get another character, and if we don't, then I hope that Rosaria is on Venti's banner. So that's my speculation on the 1.4 situation with no new 5 stars, and it's we're already halfway through 1.3. Usually we get leaks a lot early. Like, I'm talking, we get them real early. Like, we got Hutao's leaks, like, pretty early, if you remember. So I feel like not having a leak or anything or not having any data mine information of a new 5 star implies that we might not be getting a new 5 star in 1.4 at all. We might just get a Venti rerun with a standard banner event wish character like the Luke or Jean, which will most likely be the Luke in that case since the Ludwig past them will most likely do something similar and they can't do back to back pyro so they're going to put Jean by Glee's banner. So that's how I feel about this whole situation and honestly it's really cool. I'm cool with it. This is a period for Venti mains or, you know, anybody that has Venti, anybody that has the loop to save your primal gems. Because as you know, these updates that are coming up, like 1.4, after 1.4 is 1.5, 1.6, and then 2.0. And they, these updates have so much content. And 1.5, having the Chasm with the Dendro release, most likely, is just going to be absolutely mad. 1.6, having the Ludiar past them. If you want Klee, it's going to be mad as well. But honestly, I recommend not summoning right before 2.0, which is when Inazuma and Ayaka release, most likely. And not only is Ayako going to release, most likely Baal or Raiden Shogun, the Electro Archon will release. So you might as well just start saving and you might as well just skip 1.6 in my opinion. That's how I feel. Unless you have like a lot of Primal Gems. Like I'm talking like 100,000 Primal Gems. Maybe you could go in. But if you don't have that many, do not do it. But really that's what I can say about the 1.4 banner and what they're going to do. There might be three banners if there's a new banner. But if there's no new banner, there's two banners with a standard banner event wish character. That's what I think it's going to be is Deluke. And then the Venti rerun that we will have with the four star Rosaria being rated up on his banner, which will be very beneficial, but also not beneficial to people who have Venti because everybody wants a Rosaria. And it's going to be sad that we have to summon on Venti's banner once again, even though, you know, we may get lucky and get Constellation. But what I'm saying is <sighs> I'd rather not summon on this banner. I just want this four star. I hope a new character comes out in 1.4 and like it just like comes last minute. And they put Rosaria on that banner. That's what I hope they do, but it's probably highly doubtful. So anyway, let's go over this additional 1.6 info. Now you're probably asking a lot. So this has to do with Il Dotore. Now you're probably asking a lot of questions. Il Dotore is a Fatui Harbinger that we have not heard much about, that we haven't even seen in Genshin Story Mode yet. So before you even think of anything, you're probably saying, who is this? Like I said, he is a Fatui Harbinger. He is a crazy person and if you think child was crazy you, you're sadly mistaken so anyway let's go ahead and get over this information about him and you're going to be really hyped for this and you're probably already assuming the best case scenario but don't get too hyped take everything with a hand of salt but i will go ahead and explain this right now all right so with the additional 1.6 info i feel like this will be happening and this this will be happening because of the information that i have cited out and looked up and researched and analyzed Il Dotore will be attending the Ludi Harpastum. This may mean that since they released Child when he played a key role in the story, they may, and I mean they may, as in take with an assault, 
release Il Dottore since he may play a role in the update. This is just a speculation. Now, if they do release Il Dottore in 1.6, that would be absolutely insane. And you're probably saying, wait, why would he even be in the Ludi Harpastum? Well, let's go ahead and read this real quick. This is cited from the manga, so this is 100% true. Dottore's first appearance, or Il Dottore's first appearance, or first appears in Heresies. A Fatui underground arena where Krupp is putting his test subjects into fights against an unknown enemy. After his 139th subject dies, Dotore calls his work pathetic as usual and threatens to turn Krupp into one of his test subjects instead. Krupp, desperate to avoid that fate, turns his attention to Mondstadt's invitation, invitation to attend the Ludihar Pastum which is update 1.6 with Klee's rerun and most likely a standard banner event with character. So imagine guys, in 1.6 we're finally going to get to see the man himself, Il Dottore. And not only that, we may be able to summon on him, but this is a speculation, we may not even be able to summon on him. But him appearing in this update may lead to something. I feel like he's just not going to appear and be like, oh, nice. I feel like there's going to be some type of story to go around. Other than just events and games, I feel like there's going to be something. Because as you do know, the Ludiar passed him out the 15 days of events and games. I don't feel like it's just going to be that. I feel like there's going to be a story behind it. And I feel like that Il Dottore is going to play a really key role in that. Just similar to Child, when Child was playing a really key role in the game, how he was leading us on and stuff. And then we were able to summon on him and whatnot i feel like they're gonna do the same thing to dotore and they're both for two year harbingers so the possibilities are endless we never know what can actually happen and when they could just come out of nowhere because as you see, we weren't even introduced to all the Fatui Harbingers before we got Child. We just got Child because he played a key role in the story. Meaning that we don't actually necessarily have to wait until they release all the Fatui Harbingers or show the whole gang of them for us to summon on Dotore. I feel like they're going to just show him. We're going to have a key role and we may be able to summon on him. And if we do, that would be insane. But this is just a speculation. There's no data mine information on him actually being a banner so take everything with a hint of salt and take what i'm saying as a speculation because that's what it is but having il dotore as an option will be insane and if 1.6 does have three banners him being the third banner can be a possibility meaning we have the clear rerun the gene standard banner event wish as well as the harbinger il dotore's event wish which would be absolutely sick and something nobody expected in the first place so 1.6 definitely is going to be interesting for that fact because I originally didn't know that Il Dottore was going to make his first appearance or he first appears in Heresies as it says. But what I'm saying is he might make his first appearance in the game at the Ludi Harpastum. We might see him at the Ludi Harpastum. We might have a key role in the story for him based on the manga and whatnot. We'll see what actually happens. Like I said, this is just a speculation and it's just going to be really cool. But my question is, why would they invite Il Dottore to the Ludi Harpassum, which is a kids festival. And this man is absolutely crazy. And I mean, like, he is crazy. I mean, they got their reasons, but I mean, if they want to do that, I, like I said, that he might play a key role or something. Like, he might have to save the festival or something, even though he's a two harbinger, he's not going to save the festival. But what I'm saying is, you know, you know, anything could happen. We don't know what event or what piece of story they're going to add onto this if they do. So it's definitely just left there to speculate and to see what's going to happen. But it is cool to note that Il Dottore will be attending the Ludi Harpastum. So yeah, so far what we have right now is everything summarizes the 1.4 banners, events you rerun, the possibility of getting a standard banner event wish for Deluke, and then also a new character. But the new character is highly doubted, 100%. I, I don't think there's going to be a new character in 1.4. I think they're just going to rerun Vinci, put that Deluke banner out, put Rosaria on Deluke's banner or on Vinci's rerun, which I hope they put it on Vinci's rerun. Or if they put it on Deluke, I'm fine. But I'm hoping they put it on Vinci's rerun for you free to play players out there that want Vinci. But basically, I, I just hope that this goes like that. And if there is a third banner and if it's a new banner, I really want to know more about it before it gets too close because I want to know if it's worth to save for or worth to not. Because since we're about to get Hu Tao, I don't want all of you to summon on Hu Tao and then boom, in 1.4 we get a new character that's just absolutely insane. There's just there's no possibility. The, the aesthetic, the gameplay, everything's just insane about the character. And they're all like, I just summoned on Hu Tao. What have I done? I don't want you guys to be like that. So I definitely want to do some more research and do some more data mine research. For seeing if there's going to be a five star unit in 1.4 that is new but right now what i have for you guys is the vinci rerun and the Deluke banner that may be coming out 
so stay tuned i will keep you guys updated in more videos we post every day so we're just definitely going to update you as much as we can if we get new information so yeah stay tuned for that hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i do update you and yeah but yeah anyway that really summarizes 1.4 on the route of what characters we're going to get for banners and also the sad truth that we're not going to be getting you know another new five star character it's not really sad because we're getting vinci's rerun but it is sad because there's no new character for us pay to play players to get or some free to play players that already got vinci and Deluke. there's no new banner for you to get i mean this means that opportunities you can save and summon for a different update that's really cool you don't have to waste gems on this and then you you have to skip 1.5 and then you have to you know waste gems on you, you get what i'm saying you don't have to skip anything really you already have it so that's really good so I feel like definitely for the players that already have all this, it's good but bad since we're not getting anything new because we'll be a little bit bored. But at the same time, we'll get events, we'll get new story and all that. So just stay tuned for that and please keep your gems in pocket. What I'm saying is do not be tempted to summon for Constellation. Do not be tempted to summon for Deluxe Constellation or Vinci's Constellation. And yeah, so keep your gems in pocket no matter what. Because I know that there is a little fever going around where when you can't summon on something, you get so so tempted that you just summon on anything and then you regret it in the end. So don't do that. Save your gems. And once we get 1.5, you definitely could go for them Dendro characters. And then skip 1.6 if you already have Klee. Or if you, you know, if we get Dotore in 1.6, you definitely can't skip 1.6 anymore. You have to get Dotore. Or if you don't want him, I want him. What I'm saying is I'm going to have to literally just... I'm getting every character on every update. But what I'm saying is if I was a free-to-play player in 1.6, if Il Dotore really released with the Ludi Heart Pass and with Cleese Rerun, with the Gene banner as well, if Gene's banner really releases, if they do a triple banner for a festival, I would definitely be summoning on Il Dotore. 100%. That's just my opinion and what I would do as a free-to-play player because I like him. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be an animal unit. But if he is a different unit, I can imagine him being Hydro. But I'm pretty sure he's animal based on the manga and whatnot. So anyway, yeah, it's really cool. But at least you guys have a chance to skip this if you already have these characters. Or if you don't want these characters at all. And if you just want some new content, some new characters, you could definitely wait for 1.5. Since we are getting Dendro units most likely in 1.5 with the new Dendro area of the Chasm. Which is an expansion to the UA. So definitely, guys, you can save. Even though it's sad we're not getting a new character. We are getting a new 4 star, and I don't know if she's actually worth to summon on a banner for, but you get a 4 star guaranteed every summon, so really you could just get her and dip out, because it's so easy to get 4 stars in this game. You could get her and then dip out if you want, but if you want Constellation, you're going to have to go pretty deep probably, considering that some 4 stars, for some reason, they all have the same rate. Some just always come way more. So, we will see about that, but anyway, really, I'm going to be summoning on any whichever banner has the Rosaria rated up, so... That's just going to be that. If we get Constellation, that's cool. But really, I just want Rosaria a lot. And also, this is going to be my first time summoning just for a 4-star. But also, 1.6 saying that Il Dotore will be appearing or attending at Ludi Harpassum is just very... It's messing up my head right now because I'm thinking of the possibilities that he may be summonable. And that should not even be running through my mind. He's probably not going to be. But it's just there's a possibility that he can be. And that's what's just killing me right now. Like, we all thought that... Whoa, bro. There's no way Hu Tao's coming in 1.3. Look what happened. You guys really, like, broke it down to the core and said, this is how she's not coming. Everybody was like, yeah, you're right. And then, boom. Look at her. She's literally at the end of 1.3. So, the possibilities are endless. We may get Il Dotore. We may not. But if we do, that would be a really cool addition to the game. Even though he's right before the update of Inazuma and Ayaka and Ball, Raiden, Shogun, the Electro Archon... I feel like definitely Il Dotore will be way more than worth to summon on, especially if his kit looks really good. But I just like his aesthetic. So I'm just going to summon on him for his aesthetic. But if his kit's cool, that's even more of a plus. Yeah, I'm just a collector. I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyway, that's really about it for this video. I just wanted to discuss the 1.4 banners as well as there not being a new banner. And if there is a new banner, there's, you know, possibilities. But there's probably not going to be a new banner. And also, you know, is it really worth to summon for this four-star character, even if you have Venti and you have... Deluke, if they do release this Deluke banner, is it really worth to summon on a 5-star banner to try to get Rosaria? Even though, you know, she's 4-star, you're guaranteed a 4-star every multi. You know, it's, it's cool, but, like, should you really do it? Yeah, I feel like you should, but at the same time, as a free-to-play player, you should, 100%, because 4-star characters to free-to-play players are very important, play a key role on teams, because 5-stars are really, like, a plus, but 4-stars are what you really should be looking for as a free-to-play player, considering how hard it is to get 5-stars unless you have pity. If you don't have pity... Going for Rosaria would be really cool because you could build up to that pity, right? And then you also get Rosaria. And then so like, like say for example, you have 12,000 Primal Gems. You spend 1,600. Boom. The first multi, you get like two Rosarias. Oh, that's C1 Rosaria. I'm out. Just dip. Get out the banner. 
save up until you get to 2.0 or until you get to uh, 1.5 if you really want. But honestly, I feel like you should save for 2.0 considering we're getting Ayaka, Raiden, Shogun, you know, or Ball, Electro Archon. So I feel like you should definitely just like go for Rosaria and then skip everything else if you really want Rosaria. But if you get lucky on the first pool and you have like 30,000 Primal Gems, yeah, you could go in 1.5 if you want. Because you're basically going to get a guaranteed, as long as you keep up to 28,800 Primal Gems, you're, you're good. So you can pull a little bit if you want. But it's up to you. Like I said, we just were going to discuss the 1.4 banners as well as there not being any new 5 star as of now. And also the possibility that Il Dotore will be a banner in 1.6 from his attending of the Ludi Harpastum. Which is crazy because probably most people didn't even know that he was attending in 1.6. Probably most people didn't even know he was going to appear in 1.6. So if this did like open your eyes, if you didn't know about this and you're a fan of Il Dotore, go ahead and just go ahead and subscribe right now if you're new to the channel. Just do it because this is amazing. This is honestly amazing. I want to subscribe to myself, but I can't do that. But this is absolutely amazing. So I'm really happy about that. I can't wait to see him in game and I can't wait to see what we're going to be doing because I'm telling you, he's not just going to appear and we're just going to look at him and he's going to walk away. It's going to be similar to how we've seen Dane Sleeve. Dane Sleeve didn't just come into the game and we see him when he walked away. We did a mission with him. So hopefully it's similar to that and we do a mission with Il Dotore or something and then like we get the character maybe, maybe, possibility and that would be super cool. So yeah, that's really about it. This is speculation on the 1.4 banners even though there's no new banners and the 1.6 potential new banner as well as the, you know, rerun. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope this did put some thoughts in your head for speculations and I hope your hype is me to see what's actually going to happen. I love speculating until the actual thing happens because if I'm right, I just pop off. Like I literally pop off. Like I was so happy when I was right about Hutao. I just popped off. So anyway, that's really about it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, make sure you smash the like button down below. Join the subscribers on the grind to 3,500. And also hit the notification bell to be notified of all my daily uploads for all the updates and all the beautiful Whisker Chan content so that's about it for this video thank you guys for coming out and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out